Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. This is last old school making history here, y'all. This is the last old school video y'all will see this year. This is it. It's been a long year. I think I've did over 330, if I'm not mistaken, 330 cooking videos this year. And I told you I was going to do at least 300 every year. So I did over 330. So I was way over my quota. So we're going to end it with something easy, y'all. Something simple. Uh, like I say, y'all, it's been a tough, tough last couple of months, especially the last three weeks. So I'm going to end it on an easy note here. What I got here, y'all, y'all remember about a month, maybe a couple of months ago. Maybe it ain't been that long. I went to this place called Amazing Cakes to get my... Uh, uh, where I get my vanilla flavorings and my uh, uh, cream bouquet flavor and all that. And they have cake mix in there, y'all. Now, a lot of pastry chefs that I know in the city, a lot of big-time cooks in the city of Houston, they uh, testify by this. They swear by this. It's the best cake mix you can actually buy. It is moist. It is amazing. No pun intended. But... It is the best cake mix you can buy. You can't get it off the shelf. It's professional cake mix. And it, and you go in Amazing Cakes, it's not even in the sh on the shelves. You got to ask for it. They keep it in the back, I guess in a big bin, and they put it in a little bag. This is a three-pound bag here, y'all. And they give you a little slip on there to tell you the recipe. Now, I lost a little slip of paper, so I called them back. And hold on, y'all, just a second. I called them to see what the recipe was. So here it is. One pound of cake mix. Uh, half, one and a half cups of uh, water, which I'm going to use milk. She said if you use milk, it's even better. Of course, that's common sense knowledge. And a third cup of oil or melted butter. And I'm going to use oil because oil always make anything more moist. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. But what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to take this and open it up because they got this thing tied so bad. I'm going to cut this. And put this in a Ziploc bag so I can kind of uh, uh, store it better. And then I got some white cake mix here I might use for another recipe. I got about a pound. This is about, what, two pounds of white. And then I got, I bought three pounds of the yellow. So this is three. That's why she got three on there. So I'm going to step off here, y'all. I'm going to get in a Ziploc bag. Pour this in here. Get this all weighed off. And we're going to mix this up. And I'm going to see how this could really, really get my opinion no eggs in it it's just milk oil and uh what did i say here yeah the, the cake mix the oil or butter she said and then milk or water so i'm gonna kind of play around maybe maybe it's good and i got more next time i will do water and butter kind of play but there's no eggs in this or nothing it's all no vanilla no nothing it's all and next to say they swear by this and everything i bought in amazing cakes is absolutely amazing so anyway i'm gonna step off get this measure out we're gonna put this together y'all last video of the of 2022 y'all this year's over whole school soul food that's it so anyway y'all we will be right back all right y'all we are back here okay y'all i put my cake mix here in the ziploc so it'll store better let me set that in here aside now i got three pounds of three pounds y'all y'all having a brain cramp Glad this year's over, huh? I got one pound of cake mix in here. Now, let me give y'all a little tip. A lot of people tell me to shut up, quit talking, but it's a tip to help people that's interested. Look, this is one pound of flour. Not flour, cake mix. One pound, that's what it called for. If you don't have, y'all, a, a scale with weight, you know, weight is different from volume, especially in baking. There's a big difference. I mean, you just can't... What, what is one pound of flour? Is that... Such and such cups. Let me tell you to make the exact uh what they say here directions or the translation to volume. Get you three and one third cups of flour, cornmeal, cake mix, or whatever. And that'll equal one pound. One pound equals three and one third cups of anything that's weight that calls with weight like flour, sugar, uh uh stuff like that. It's the same equivalent. So that's a little thing. A lot of people don't have scales in their house that weight. They have cups, but don't have scales for weight instead. They got cups for volume, but not weight for weight. Just a little, little tip, FYI. Okay, got a pound of flour, uh, pound of cake mix in here, y'all. Y'all bear with me. 
And then she say put a cup and a half of the water, milk, I'm using milk. And then the oil or butter, I'm using oil. We're gonna mix this bad boy together. Kenneth, I know he, he Kenneth's salivating as he's looking at this, ain't it? I know he is. this down a little y'all let's see i know kenna's loving this here box cake box cake kenna aka kenna milligan aka chilling and grilling with kenny all right Okay, that should do it, y'all. I know not to over mix a cake, so that should do it right there. Okay, let me unplug this, get these beaters out the way. All right, and move this up out the way. Now I'm gonna, like I say, y'all, I'm gonna use the, my bunk pan for this. Make a little bunk cake. I'm not gonna put no frosting, no nothing on it, y'all. I'm gonna just do it regular old bunk cake. Or it looks like a pound cake, even though it's not a pound cake, but give me my best eating experience like this when I do a cake. I'm gonna spread that around. And I'm thinking if it's like any other regular cake, 350 degrees, about 25 to 30 minutes, you live what it takes on a cake like this. So that's what we're gonna do, 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna check it out to 20. And we'll come back and we'll see how it come out, y'all. Y'all pray for me and see, what, see if this is the total disaster or it's gonna be awesome. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, just took it out the oven. I'm going to let it cool here for about maybe 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to flip it out and let it cool a little bit. No, probably about 30 minutes total, and we're going to come back. It looks good. It smells absolutely amazing, y'all. Smell vanilla, but like I said, we're going to see if it's worth all the hype. But I've had, like I say, pastry chefs here in the city just swear by this cake mix, and they use it on the... You know, when you're making lots and lots and lots of cakes uh, in the, really in the industry, you try to find the, sometimes the shortest cuts you can. If you ever go to the bakeries and pastry shops and stuff, a lot of cakes are about mixes, but they have a different mix that the public can't get to. The average public can't get to, and that's what this is. Like I say, if you go to Amazing Cakes, this is not in the front, and if you don't even see it, you wouldn't know to ask for it. So it's just something I've known to do that. I just never bought any. So I said, I'd buy some. Just kind of try it out in the video. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back here in a few minutes. YouTube time, one second. But about 30 minutes here. And we'll cut a slice and we'll see how it is. Old school. I don't know what I'm going to call this, y'all. Old school cake mix, I guess, from Amazing Cakes. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Cake is ready. Still slightly warm. Look at this, y'all. Looks good. Actually feels good too. Feel nice and fluffy. Hey y'all, I'm telling you, this is supposed to be the one of the best box cakes mix. Of course, it's not on the market. I guess you can only get it if you own big bakeries or whatever. So anyway, let's let's dig into here, y'all. Let's dig into this here. This thing is I can tell it's so light. Look at this. Here we go. Mm. Oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. This cake, y'all, it literally melts in your mouth. I'm not, I'm, you know, I like to be honest when I do reviews. Let me show you the moist test here. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. This cake is so moist. Look at it. See how fluffy it is? So like, then the frustrating thing, y'all, I can't tell you the name of it. I can't tell you what to buy it. Only if you're in Houston, go to the Amazing Cakes right there on Bel Air, right in Houston area, Southwest Houston. You can get it there. Just ask for it and how many pounds you want. And they'll scoop it out and put it in bags for you. But there's no brand name. 
I can't tell you, and that's what's frustrating. If this cake needs no icing, no frosting, no nothing, y'all. Whenever you can pick the crumbs up like that, look at that. See how you pick the crumbs up? It's so moist, I'm telling you. Like if y'all saw me try cake mixes on here before, and mixing, it's the lightest, fluffiest cake I ever tasted, y'all. Amazing. And no pun intended, but that's what it's called, amazing cakes. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. And I've had this in my house for about a month. And, you know, I went there about a month ago, right before December. You know, I get all my stuff. I go there maybe three times a year to load up on my vanillas and different things and pans. And I never tried the cake mix. And something told me, just try the cake mix and see. So that's what I did. So let me grab the bag again. Like I said, y'all, all it takes is milk and all water. This is, And then I got a white one I'm going to try one day but yeah you don't you don't put eggs in it or nothing just watch like she she told me water she didn't say milk she said water uh the mix and then melted all or melted butter that's it and then this is what you get and it's absolutely amazing y'all so anyway y'all this is the last video of 2022 y'all i just want to step out and appreciate and show y'all appreciate for supporting me all throughout the year not only this year, but all throughout the year, your gratitude and appreciation doesn't go unnoticed. My team notices, I notice it, and it really, really is definitely appreciated. It's been a rough year for me in 2022. You know, I lost my mom three months ago, and it still burns heavy on my heart every day. And some days are bad, some days are worse than others. But with God's grace and mercy, it all get through this. So I got a video coming out. Monday, January the 1st, which is the first day of the year, uh, as I told y'all before, in-depth video. Uh, now, hold on, y'all. Let me get this right. So Monday, January the 2nd. Not, uh, not, uh, because the first is on a Sunday. So this Monday, I got a video, in-depth video, what's going to happen with YouTube, what's the changes, all this that's going to happen with this channel. Like I say, I just tell you right now, I appreciate everybody's support throughout the years or whatever. I have not, that has not gone unnoticed. And it's been a, you know, rough year, ups and downs. And I'm going to do a monologue probably next week sometime. I'm just posting pictures all throughout the year, things, places I've been and and places, my little road trip video pictures that I've done all throughout the year. I'm trying to put that together there for y'all so y'all can kind of see it and Get that put together that'd be pretty cool so anyway y'all um that's it um let me close this video out for the last time uh if you like this video please share please comment please subscribe please follow the other social media account facebook youtube instagram twitter twist tv pinterest and oldschoolsoulfood.com remember the hashtag 2022 it's the last time hashtag 2022 last time i use it help somebody Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed 2023. I love y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all. Bye.